Do they know something that we don't? As of today's filing with the Fintel, ask yourself why. Why JP Morgan purchased 150 co-option contracts for AMC? This is 150,000 shares that currently worth over $750,000. Meanwhile, earlier this month, Virtual Financial, according to MarketBeat, dumped almost 40% of their position with AMC. And of course, as you can see over here, it's not only them. There's a lot of two-digit dumps. You have to BAME which dump 80% of their position. There is a certain bank dump 13%. There is an Ivan tax dump 25%. So why would JP Morgan purchase 150,000 in co-options, right? 150 contracts, looking forward, moving forward, considering that moving towards the actual final decision from the court, potentially the major expectations are that, you know, AMC will go lower because of the conversion, because of the potential fear uh, of, of dilution, right? Issuing more shares. Expectations are AMC to go lower, not to go higher. So why would they will purchase so much and they will invest so much money? $750,000. Considering that they own shares of AMC as of the moment, aside of these co-options. The slim part, of course, average cost around $6 a share, which is far away from the current prices. And sure, some of you might assume that this is kind of a hedging strategy. Well, I didn't see any put contracts purchased. I didn't see betting on the other positions and having these middle-sized expectations, right? They're just hoping the stocks to go up on the share ownership side of six hours at least to break even. And they're focusing on these particular co-options moving forward. I think this is bullish because if they were planning just to get the shares and put it out on loan, they will buy the shares. They were not going to buy the co-options, right? So they purchased the co-options with the intentions that the price action really will go up. And this is good because if they purchase $150,000 worth of shares, I believe 90% of the apes will think, oh sure, this is just another way to put the shares out there on loan for the short sellers and push AMC stock price even lower. So I might be wrong about this guys, but when you see individual positioning with the core options without having uh, other side of the trade included in this position, having a pull options or you know betting against the company well i think this is bullish considering what earlier jamie diamond said that he is on the side of banning short selling for permanent or impermanent time and he's like one of the very few people who actually calling out all the market potential manipulation and all the market activities that look sketchy on the price action not only about the banking stocks so let me know why is this purchase appearing at this particular time frame when you know, there is a major uncertainty of the price action, considering that the court uh, doesn't show that things will go smooth. Doesn't look like that, you know, everything will go fast. Do they know something that we don't?